The best news for gamers who love Linux has recently hit the streets. It's now possible to play a huge vault of Windows games easily on Linux-based operating systems. Here's how to get started. Free your mind. All right, this is not exactly recent news, but there are still yet thousands upon thousands, nay, possibly millions who don't know the fact that you can play many games that were only meant for Windows now on Linux, thanks to Valve's new product, Proton, which is a modified version of a couple of open source compatibility layer softwares that you can use in order to play Windows-based programs. Now, Proton comprises other tool popular tools like Wine and DXVK, among others, that a gamer would otherwise have to install and maintain themselves. This is absolutely true. Before Proton came out, many of us who tried to use Wine, a Windows compatibility layer for Linux, and others to try to play our games, let alone run Windows programs, have been a royal, royal pain. <laughs> and it's, it's been a nightmare to try to get these things to work. And so most of us have given up. Some of us just, get, we get excited when something natively comes out for Linux, and that that's all well and good. But now the fact that we can play Windows-based programs, Windows-exclusive titles on Linux, and run them just as easily as running any Linux-native game is fantastic. There are plenty of games out there that are being shown by users that they work flawlessly out of the box. Even though they're not officially whitelisted or shown as good to go by Valve, many of these titles run incredibly. I just played Elder Scrolls Online a few hours last night using Proton in my Linux Mint distro, and it was incredible. It was flawless, the frame rate was perfect, and I was so excited that I didn't need to boot into Windows in order to get this game running. I look forward to the day where I don't need to have a Windows hard drive on my system in order to dual boot and switch from Linux to Windows to run my Windows-based games, which, if you'd like to figure out how to do, I've included an easy tutorial on how to set up dual booting and uh, run Windows and Linux on the same desktop at the same time. I'll, I'll include that in the links below. But for now, let's get you started so that you can also enjoy the fruits of playing your Windows games on Linux. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download and run Steam. You can use this during your with your software uh, manager. If you're running Linux Mint, you'll use Software Manager. If you're running uh, Ubuntu or Fedora, it'll be the GNOME Software Center, uh, KDE, you know, their Software Center. Uh, so whether you're running Arch, OpenSUSE, any, any Linux distro, uh, you can open up the software manager and search for Steam. And you'll want to run and install the native Steam app. In my opinion, this is just the right way to go. The best way to go because you don't have to worry about containerized problems or problems with virtualization from running something like the FlatHub or the Snap package. It's, it's up to you. They, they may work fine. I honestly just run the native version because I get worried that something's not going to talk to my hardware or my NVIDIA uh, graphics cards, and I won't be able to utilize the full potential of the game. So, in my recommendation, install just the program or package that says Steam. Not Steam FlatHub, not Steam Snap, just Steam. The other way to do this is to open up a terminal, and you can depending on which distro you're running, use your command in order to install Steam. Okay, so once Steam is installed, we're going to open it up. And you're going to log in if you haven't logged in. Once you've logged in and started Steam, I'm going to show you a couple of things here. You're going to see that I have uh, a few games here, and I've given them my own personal collection categories, but if you look, say, for example, here in the uh, Linux-supported games, these are a list of games that are supported with the use of Proton. When I filter them out, show games that only run on Linux, you see this goes down from 112 to 39, because these are now the games that work natively for Linux out of the box. So things like The Cave or Dark Souls 3, 
because these can run without a compatibility layer to in order to work. Uh, things like Don't Starve runs natively out of the box, Dreamfall Chapters, Middle Earth, Near Automata, Psychonauts, because come on, who doesn't love Psychonauts? But there are still uh, plenty of other games that I have which I can't run because they were designed to run exclusively on Windows. Well, that's about to change, so check this out. If you go to Steam, and you go to Settings, and you go down to Steam Play here. Now, Steam Play will automatically install compatibility tools that will allow you to play games from your library that were built for other operating systems. Right now, Steam Play is enabled for supported titles, but now you can use Steam Play to test games in your library that have not been verified with a supported compatibility tool. So let's click Enable Steam Play for all other titles, and we're going to change what those titles are running off of. So right now, run other titles with the Steam Linux runtime. Well, if you click the drop-down arrow, you're going to see a list of builds for Proton. And if you left-click, you'll want to choose the latest version of Proton, so the higher the number the better, because that means that the developers over at Valve have worked on it and they have improved Proton and probably included a lot of compatibility fixes so that it works for even more titles. So remember, the higher the number the better, the later the release the better. So select the latest version of Proton and click OK. Steam's going to ask you to restart Steam. We're going to hit yes to restart. It's going to start again, and uh, and we're good to go. And that was literally it. So now, when I click the show only the games that run on Linux, nothing goes. Because now, theoretically, thanks to Proton, all of these titles can work. And many of them do. So if I was to run something, let's run a quick test here. Like here, The Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind. So all of the Elder Scrolls games work fantastic out of the box. I'll show you what I mean. By clicking install, I'm going to click on next. And it's going to download. Now you'll notice it's for first going to download Proton. So it's downloading the latest build of Proton and it's installing it. Once that's done, you're going to see a brief flash of OpenGL and Vulkan here at the bottom once uh, Morrowind shifts up to the uh, active download. And that's because it's downloading the extra compatibility programs needed to make this work in Linux. Okay, so now the Elder Scrolls is active and, and downloading. So once it's done, as you can see, Proton 4.11 has already been installed. And it's done. So once it's done, I can click on play. And look at that. I click on play and the game immediately begins. No issues, no glitches, no you need to change this uh, config file. It just works. That's incredible. We can skip through the intro, even though, come on, who doesn't love that music? But for sake of demonstration, the show must go on. And you can see everything now is running flawlessly. Today my name is going to be Proton. Appropriately. So you can see this is now a marvelous addition uh, to the Valve family of softwares that make us Linux gamers ecstatic. So what makes this particularly exciting is that you no longer need to dual boot your operating system uh, switching from Linux to Windows in order to play your games. Many of the popular games that you have will now run inside of Linux without any loss in frame rate, without any effect to the gameplay or performance, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to exit this here. So I've tested a few of these. Now let's let me briefly go into the good and the bad here. So the good is obvious. A large chunk of these titles work, and they work famously. I don't have to make any adjustments. I don't have to configure anything. I just get to install and play, and that makes me one happy panda. A lot of the MMOs that I've wanted to play 
and I have to switch to Windows every time to do, I now no longer have to do. They just work out of the box for Linux, and that's great. Here's the bad, <laughs> is not all of them work. <laughs> In fact, uh, some of the, my favorite games like Anno 2070, which is one of the uh, one of my favorite RTS real-time strategy games to play, it does not work. I can install it, but it will not run. Uh, the auto-updater glitches like mad, and this game will not play to save my life. It, it comes up with different errors. So this is not a perfect system yet, but this is an amazing step in the right direction. And there are plenty of others, as this website shows you here, the ProtonDB.com, that there are still a large amount of games, including, interestingly enough, the top 10 list has three of them that are borked, meaning they're, they're technically broken or they crash, and they're pretty miserable to experience and play on, and yet they're the among the top 10 most popular games played on Linux uh, using Proton. So I know that stuff is still being worked on. This is still an active development and things have made huge leaps and strides, but they're not there yet where everything works great and everything works out of the box. This is a huge step, a huge step, uh, leaps. It, it takes leaps and strides ahead of where we were even four or five years ago for playing games on Linux. And good on them, good on the Valve developers, like they have made life awesome for us. And as you can see, there are plenty of issues here on their GitHub page where it's actively being developed and collaborated with. There are plenty of requests, including Anno 2070, I'm, I'm a big part of that, where you can't play things smoothly just yet. Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, is not working. And so these things are actively being worked on. And uh, with as each new release comes out, thankfully it's getting better and better. But there are still going to be many titles that you're probably going to want to play uh, that aren't fully compatible or aren't there yet. That's the bad. The other part about the bad is that the controllers, your, a lot of your hardware, uh, still the, the hardware controllers, sometimes the Xbox One controllers or any old game pads you might have, they don't work with any game that's not native in here. And of course, for us controller gamers, that sucks. So things that are controller friendly, so things that do have uh, full controller support, they may have controller support if they work, they will work fine if they're native, meaning that they work without needing a compatibility layer to run with Linux. So things like Dark Souls 3 is a native game, uh, it will use a controller just fine on Linux. As to where something, something like Batman Arkham Origins or Grand Theft Auto 5, the controller might not work. And I know that this is something they're working on in order to increase the hardware communications and compatibility between Windows games. But things like Vampire, I tried playing Vampire last night and Unfortunately, even though the game did install and when you're playing with the keyboard and mouse, it works great, which is super exciting for me. But the bad news is that trying to play it with a controller doesn't work as to where if I'm running Windows, playing it with a Steam controller or my Xbox controller, things will work just fine. So that's the good and the bad. Now you know, try it out for yourself. Enjoy all of those titles that you've wanted to run on Linux for after all these years. And now you can start to buy future games without worry because even if they weren't designed for Linux, it's pretty likely Proton is going to make them available for Linux in the future. So for Linux gamers, the future is bright. If you found this video helpful, I'd super appreciate it if you'd click the like button below and also hit subscribe so that you can get future helpful videos and tutorials on how to use Linux and free software. This is Free Your Mind.